Right, so I'm here with Nathan. Uh, Nathan, if you just introduce yourself quickly. Hi, I'm Nathan. I work in the research and development department here at HEAD. We are in the production area at HEAD Sports. Historically, all the tennis rackets were made here. Oh, I've actually got quite a smile on my face because this is my first chance to see how a racket is made. Hopefully, I'll give you a, a good introduction and hopefully you'll learn a lot. The first step in producing a squash we, racket is, as a team upstairs, we develop a layup lots of strips of carbon fibre at different angles. We then lay them on top of each other, as you can see here. The actual angles at which these carbon fibre layers are assembled affects the playing properties of the racket. Once we've done the layup over there, we then bring it over here. We use a steel rod with a defined circumference. This sticks onto the top of the layup, and this machine essentially rolls our layup around the mandrel or the steel bar. So once we've preformed our layup into a shape that looks a bit like this, this then goes into the mold. As you can see here, it fits snugly in there. Our mold closes for around 20 minutes. The temperature is increased to 160 degrees. So this is a tennis racket that's just come out of the press. So I've always wondered how we get the holes in the racket for the grommets. For both squash and tennis rackets, what this machine is capable of is um, it takes on board uh, a drilling program, which is created upstairs by our 3D designer. And then it's programmed into this machine, and essentially this machine then automatically drills these holes into the frame. Just said we need to remove this valve section, which allowed us to apply the pressure in the mold. We don't need that now. It simply sits in there and yeah, this blade comes in and chops the valve off. Getting close to our final product, we yep. made the mould, um, we've got the grommets, can you tell me about that? Okay, so once you've got the raw frame, lacquer is applied to the racket, so as you can see this particular one is orange. Before we add the grip, uh, you need to add the butt cap on, yep. which sits on the end like that. The grommets are then applied, which are the plastic parts um, which allow the, rack the racket to be strung. They're also applied by hand. Once you've got the grommets in, you then need to um, apply the grip. And then you have something, yeah, which looks a little bit like this, which is nearly ready to go, but not quite. So the good. strings. The strings, exactly. <laughs> the stringing process is done on a machine like this, obviously to predefined tensions. Obviously, in our squash range, we have a, a straight pattern, which would look something like that. We also have the fan patterns, which um, are a bit more difficult to string, but um, yeah. I think players like them too. There you have it, that, that's like a little insight. I found it really fascinating to, you know, like I said, I, I've been playing squash since I was four and I've never, never had a clue how, how my rackets were made. So uh, really, thank you very much for your time and a little insight into uh, how a squash racket is made.